Hello, welcome back everybody. I got a question a few days ago on my video about making passwords and stuff. And somebody wanted to use the same type of script for a, like a quiz of some kind. And so instead of like kicking them from the game basically, it would re like go back to the question again. So I thought I'd show it to you guys since I can't actually find the comment to reply to it for some reason. I don't know whether they just took it back because they realized how to do it or what, but I thought it might be something good for you guys as well. If you guys were looking at this and be like, when am I going to use a password in the game? So I thought I'd show it to you guys just in case if anyone else wanted to do it. Okay, for this, it's very set up very much like the password one. And I'm going to go through all the steps first, and then I'll explain what you need and what you don't need and everything as well. At the very top, not too far after your start menu, along with anything else you have like it, uh, anything you got to label the defaults like uh, something is true, something is false kind of thing. If you have any other points, put it there as well. I have this statement here, which is that quiz points equals zero. You can name it whatever you want. Quiz points doesn't need to be what it is. Pick something that is relevant to your game and to your situation. If that works, it works. If not, that's fine. But anyways, it's going to equal zero. Just the one equal sign, because you're just telling it what it is. Anywhere in your game, it doesn't have to be right after this point, whenever you have this quiz coming up, make sure that you label each quiz question, so you can name it question one, uh, quiz one, whatever you want to do. Whatever type of situation you have that's fitting for it, label it that and number one if you have more than one coming up. i only going to have one in this case, but I'll explain. Uh, then you're going to have this line here. Again, you could change this part here. This part and any of the ones in this little area here that say it, you got to keep it the same, okay? The, even though it is also the same as up here, which is my mistake, um, it's fine to be the same as that what it is up there, but I'm just saying that you don't have to keep it the same. Don't feel like this also, like this part here also has to be the same as this part here. But this part here has to be the same as this part here. This part here. This part here. And this part here. Okay? They all have to be the same. The label doesn't have to be the same. In here is where you're going to put your question. And just because my original, what is the password? The answer was Simba. I just thought, well, why not put the question as who is Mufasa's son? And uh, just have that. So then the rest continue on. Here I have it because I thought, well, especially if you're doing a quiz or something, you want it to be friendly to the player. So I thought I should have at least with Simba with a capital and Simba without a capital. Now, technically this one's true because it's a name. But you could do it for any number of different things that they could put in that is correct, okay? Just thought I'd let you guys know that it will only take what you say here is okay. So, if they answer correctly, it's going to jump to start game. Or in your guys' case, maybe start question two, okay? Or question two, not start, but just question two. Whatever the label is for the next one, right? That's where it's going to jump to. Um, again, same as here, if they answer it with a, a small letter, it will still jump to uh, the next question. Basically, we'll say it that way. But if they don't answer the question correctly, they're going to be given one uh, quiz point. And if their quiz points at this point are less than two, equal to or less than two, it's going to say, sorry, try again, and it's going to jump back up to question one up here. Okay, and then it will repeat the process. If they've tried three times on this one and failed, then it's... You have failed the test. And in my case, I hit, you know, I return them back to the main page. Um, but in your case, you might not be so hard as to kick them out of your game, but instead 
uh, have it where they they move on without passing the test. I added this. They didn't really technically ask for this, so um, you could just leave it without the quiz points or anything and just have them keep going until they pass the test. That's fine too, and then you just don't need these quiz points here. And then this would be back. Like the indent wouldn't be as far up, it would be connected to the else. Okay, so this sorry try again would be here along with the jump question one. And then you could just keep trying forever and ever and ever and just never get past that part if you can't answer it, right? So, and then of course, if you don't have the quiz points, you also don't need this part up here. But I hope that, that explains it for you guys. I'm going to show you what it's like in my little game thing. I'm going to take this out afterwards. If you guys remember after it says start game, label start game here. It'll be seen black, it's grass, what is your name, so on and so forth kind of thing, you know? So, just so you guys are prepared of what you're expecting. So, let's do this. So we're going to go start. It says, who is Mufasa's son? And say you didn't know, and you put uh, Timon. And we'll hit enter. And it says, sorry, try again. Uh, well, Scar. Sorry, try again. Um, ah, we don't care. We're just going to hit enter. We're mad. You have failed the test. It kicks you out to the main page here. Who is Mufasa's son? So we know. We're going to type it with a little s, though, instead. So... I M B A. And that jumps on to continue with the game. What is your name? You know, all that stuff. Be nice. You guys, uh, remember from our last videos that we've done here? Uh, play again? No. So, yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys that in case you guys were interested, you could copy this information here and add it into your game, give it a try, let me know if you have any problems with it, and it's just another way of using that sort of adding a character's name or a password or whatever you want. So, thank you guys so much for watching, this is just a short little video, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye